Would you rather buy a car or a lens? Right here in my hand could be a high schooler's first car. I have used this lens for at least six months. I have been on a few client shoots. I've put this through its paces. I've used this enough to understand the good things, the bad things, the things that you don't think about, the things that you do think about. I use the R5 as my main camera. I've had that for over a year. The combo with this 24 to 70 and the R5, it is so good. I've never used anything so fast this and this, so fast, so reliable. After a certain point of using this lens, you kind of forget that it's even doing anything. It looks like you're using your eye just to look at something. Whenever I go to a shoot and I have these two together, it takes so much stress off of me. I know all my gear is gonna work. The biggest con is the price. This thing's not cheap. With the UV protector and the lens, those are around 3,500, but keep in mind, this is a tool that you use to make money off of. So if you have it for four or five years, and then you go to sell it, you only lose about $400 a year, maybe less. I pay more for my editing software. When I had my T7i, I thought that was a great camera. It was my first camera. But now looking back, it's hard to believe what I did with what I had. Camera bodies have some limitations, especially the R5. If you're doing a lot of talking head or you're recording for 30 minutes at a time, yeah, it's gonna overheat. For the size of this camera with no fan, how are you gonna shoot 8K and get such clean details better than a human eye? Of course, it's gonna overheat. There's no point where I say, oh, I wish I had this feature or I wish I had that feature. The thing about 8K is because you're taking in so much detail, it will overheat the camera. Before the camera overheats, you will run out of storage. I have a 128 gig uh, CFast Type B card in there. It gives me five minutes of recording. <laughs> Only five minutes for 128 gigs. And for video, this thing is beautiful. With the stabilization with this lens and the R5, you can get handheld shots that look great. It's crazy. I have a gimbal. I almost never use the gimbal because this is all I need. Since the autofocus is so fast, even if you miss focus and you rack focus it somewhere else, even in slow motion, it's still fast. You don't even have to worry about it in slow motion if you're getting the shot. The autofocus is so fast. Click, zoom, done. Boom, 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 boom. It's so incredible. Really, there's nothing bad to say with this lens in that camera. It is so amazing what it can do. If you're running gun, perfect. Studio, perfect. Nature, perfect. It's heavy, but it's professional gear that's gonna take a beating. It's better than having a $400 lens that's super light, and then you put it in your backpack, in your camera bag, and you're walking around, going through rocks, lay it down, boom, oh, it's cracked. Well, now you can't take any pictures. With this, you might feel it in the backpack, but you can drop it, and you can, you can do anything you want to this, and it's gonna survive most of it. I'm not saying throw it off a table, throw your backpack down, but if someone nudges it, someone hits it by accident, it's gonna take it. This lens is so strong. I have all of my trust in this lens. I never even second doubt myself for a second. Get it, don't be cheap, invest in yourself.